This tutorial will help you find articles and use them in your Discuss post. For example, let's say that your Discuss assignment is about the characteristics of an effective speaker. The first thing you want to do is come over here and open up the worksheet. You'll use this worksheet as you go through the tutorial so that you can write your essay. So let's get started. Click on the first tab that says Search Strategy and watch the video. This will show you how to search your topic in a database. Now for our example, the topic is what are the characteristics of an effective speaker? So that would be the answer for the first question. The second question, what keyword synonyms would you search in a database? You could search keywords like public speaking or a business presentation, things like that. And then the third question is what resources are you going to use? Now at this point, go ahead and open up the library website and start searching. This will give you the articles that you need for your tutorial and for your Discuss assignment. So maybe your general resource is something from that number one box and you got a reference book. And maybe your specific resource is a journal article from EBSCO, which is in the number two box. Go ahead and collect the articles that you're going to use for your Discuss post here. Then go back to the tutorial and click on the second step. You're already in the middle. Now watch this video and it will show you how to use the information that you just gathered. Now take a look at the articles that you gathered before and think about what's important from them. What notes would you like to include in your Discuss post? Now as you pull that together, how would you explain your claim? What is your argument? So maybe your claim is that an effective speaker is someone that has amazing eye contact, who is concise and to the point. That's your claim. Now you need evidence. Maybe one of your journal articles talks about how if a presentation is led by someone who makes eye contact, then the audience is more likely to be engaged. That would be the evidence. And then you would cite your source. You can also include research that might disagree. Maybe some articles said that, you know what, eye contact is not that significant as long as the content is good. And then think about what your opinion is. Do you agree with that? Have you experienced a presentation where eye contact really did make a difference? And that's the second step. Now go back to the tutorial and you're already on the last step. Watch the video and then go to the third question that's about giving credit. Now as you are writing your article, did you use someone else's idea in your paper? When we were talking about pulling our notes and our information from those journal articles, did you make sure to paraphrase your original source? Is your wording and sentence structure unique? It's important to paraphrase completely so that you can avoid plagiarism. Now that you've answered these questions, you'll already have a rough draft of the essay that you can post in your Discuss assignment. Go ahead and read it through for proofreading, and then you'll be ready to post it in Discuss and upload this worksheet to your class Dropbox so that your facilitator can see that you did it. And then you're done. It's as simple as that.